When you look at Africa, you know, the major diamonds that we have is the youthful population that has actually been offered like uh, the initial education, which in most cases ends up, you know, not providing employment. Cavendish University being one of the leading universities in the Southern Africa is one of those universities that look at the plight of, you know, their graduates and try to give them an identity by aligning them, you know, to the programs that are running on the market and that offers employ employment. So from my office of employability and careers, we look at employability, which entails work and the ability to be employed. The ability to be employed entails being equipped with necessary skills that enables you to be employable, to be um, competitive on the job market. So, if we talk about you know, employability from Cavendish you know, perspective, we are saying we try to make sure that our graduates are in line and tandem with what is actually attending on the market out there. So therefore, what do we look for in our graduates? Usually our graduates are embedded with skills that are relevant and also selling on the job markets. So how do we do in order for us you know, to support you know, this venture? We actually have different programs and platforms that enhance you know, this ability of impartation of the skills. Like for example, we have the Alumni Association of Cavendish University and also we have programs such as the Ready to Work that is offered by different you know, professional uh, uh, institutions. And we also have you know, visiting professors and lecturers that have had you know, skills and have practiced for many years so that our programs do not only speak from the intellect perspective of you know, a graduate, but also would be in tandem with the skills that are sellable at the market. So, as Cavendish University, we try to create, you know, this platform by, you know, employing people that are in, have been practicing and at the same time to link our graduates, you know, to the industry through my office. What more would someone, you know, need? The other thing that we have to understand is that Cavendish would want to journey with you even after your graduation. And we make sure that we track down our graduates and see that they are employed and they are not only in employment because of survival, but they have jobs that are sustainable, jobs that are fulfilling, jobs that do not only bring food but have a promising future and can enable our graduates to invest and live a fulfilled life. Other things that we put in place as Cavendish University are internship programs where we enter into partnerships with different, you know, institutions so that our graduates do actually get swallowed up immediately they graduate into the industry so that they can gain necessary skills that, need, that are needed of them. So with this, we are looking forward to seeing you graduate and have a promising future and a competitive advantage in the most, you know, reasonable, fulfilling uh, lives, you know, to come. Thank you very much. I'm Dixon Tondokoso, Facilities Manager, Cavendish University. One of our key objectives is to ensure that we provide a safe working and learning environment. What we have done as Cavendish, we've bought the portable temperature guns to ensure that each and every member of staff, visitors and students who come to the premises, they are tested for the temperatures. Should they have higher temperatures than that required, they are referred to the sick bay so that the necessary information can be given to the Ministry of Health. We have extra hand washing basins. Uh, this is different from the ones which we used uh, against the cholera virus because these are now foot operated because we are encouraging people not to be touching the surfaces. We have also posted the COVID posters around the campus just to ensure that uh, people, students and visitors are reminded about the do's and don'ts of the coronavirus. On top of that, 
We have the fire fighting equipment such as fire extinguishers and the, the evacuation plans, the fire hydrants, smoke detectors in place. Please remember to mask up in order to avoid contracting the virus and prevention of the coronavirus. It's not important just knowing, but let's apply what we are told by the Ministry of Health. Thank you. Welcome to Cavendish University Zambia. My name is Stephen Lukunde. I'm currently the Secretary General for Cavendish University Zambia Students Union. Um, what is Cavendish University Zambia Students Union? Cavendish University uh, Zambia Student uh, Union is a student body that represents students uh, to management as well as represent management to the student. So uh, Cavendish University Zambia is actually a registered uh, organization that is actually registered with the uh, Registry of Societies as well as the Zambia Students uh, National Association which is ZANASU, Students uh, Union Association, ZANASU. <coughs> So what we do as a students' union, we, have, um, we are about 15 in the, in the cabinet for the whole Cavendish University Students' Union. So what we do in the Students' Union, we do a, a lot of activities, like um, we have a lot of activities that we've actually lined up for you as students. We have sports, um, Miss Cavendish, and you can name it. So uh, because of this um, COVID-19, we've actually um, cut off most of our activities and we've brought them online. Quite a right, uh, this, this, this month, end of this month, we're having um, uh, Cavendish University Students Union gen General Elections, online general elections, which makes Cavendish University Zambia Students Union to be the first in Zambia to hold elections online. So this is, is, this, this is actually an achievement for us as a student union and for Cavendish University because we, we are not only being um, active, rather uh, productive in the, in the space of COVID-19, but what we are trying to do is to make sure that in, in as much as we have COVID-19, our activities as a student union uh, go through. So currently, we, we are also having, um, we are also having football trainings at uh, um, uh, Barcelona Academy. So every Friday, around 19 to um, 21 hours, we always train at Barcelona Acad uh, Academy. That is what we as a student union have actually done for our students in the midst of COVID-19. So <coughs> you as, as a new student, you would ask, but what does a student union really benefit me as a new, 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 new student? So what we do as, 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 as Cavendish University Students Union, we actually source for accommodation in, 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 in a space where you don't have where to, to actually stay. The student union can provide for accommodation for you for that day. We have students that come, come from far away places, uh, places like uh, Livingston. When they come, they don't have where to go. Stud a student union a representative should get, uh, should get to um, see this student and help them in that, in that regard. We also provide um, a student union with uh, financial challenges. Those financial, those that cannot pay for their examination, uh, I mean uh, their final examination uh, tuition fees. Student, uh, we as a student union also we also come in. We we do a lot of things as a student representative body. So um, without being said. Um, for those of you students that have that might have problems in the course of your in the course of your learning, uh, please feel free to contact any member from the student union. But basically, you can contact me, being the secretary general, they are, they are the the contact point for all the people in the in the union. You can contact me, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Or you can contact the president for the union, or any other person. In the union but um, for those that few want to come in school and maybe they they want to stay in school and they don't know where to get my boarding houses and everything currently as as us as a student union Cavendish does not have uh, boarding houses of its own but as a student um, the student union of Cavendish have an, a boarding house for itself but this boarding house is just for girls only so we are trying by all means to create a boarding house that will cater for both girls and boys but for now we only have a boarding house that caters for girls only but in the due course i'm sure we'll, we'll be able to provide for both the girls and the guys but <clears throat> In as much as we as a student union do not have a, a, a boarding house for the, for the guys, we do provide 
we do provide assistance in finding uh, boarding houses for the boys uh, students that we have so for now uh, this is all that I have to tell you um, I, I, I expect to interact with you as, as time goes by thank you